Hi, I'm Tom. I'm product manager at Bosch eBike Systems and today we will take a closer look into the custom riding modes. Perfectly tailored to you and your e-bike. The custom riding modes allow you to personalize your riding experience. With the custom riding modes, you can adjust the support, the dynamic, the maximum torque, the maximum speed and now also the maximum power to your requirements. The torque, measured in newton meters, determines how powerful you accelerate. That can give you an extra boost, especially in technical sections. A higher torque can help you, especially if you are riding in rough terrain. Are you looking for greater challenges on demanding trails, rocky sections or steep climbs? Then increase the torque to up to 100 newton meters. This will give you the extra boost that will get you over any obstacle with ease for more control on difficult ground. More torque makes it easier to get going, especially uphills. The graph shows that the increased torque, for example from 85 to 100 newton meters, leads to the maximum power being reached more quickly, even at a lower cadence. The power of the e-bike, measured in watts, indicates how much motor support you get overall. Higher power allows you to reach your maximum speed faster and maintain it more easily. The higher motor power determines how fast you go, especially on uphills. With more power, you can set a new personal record on your home trail or just add an extra lap to your lunch break. But keep in mind, more power also means higher energy consumption. If you want to maximize your range, you can reduce the power. This means your e-bike loses less energy and you can enjoy your trip even longer. If you increase the power with the e-bike flow app, for example from 600 watts to 750 watts, you ride faster, especially uphills. This gives you noticeably more motor support and dynamic riding behavior, even at higher cadences. The support determines how much additional boost your motor provides based on your own power. The higher the support, the more the motor takes over. If you feel strong and want to push yourself, reduce the support. That way you will do more work, train harder and even save battery capacity for longer trips. Do you want to take it easy and ride more relaxed? then increase the support. The motor will do more for you and you will reach your destination with less effort. This makes it possible to balance out power differences in groups quickly and easily. However, not every riding mode has a linear response behavior. For example, the EMTB mode has a progressive power delivery, which means that the support changes depending on the rider's input. With our dynamic riding modes, you can feel the progressive riding behavior even better. If you reduce the support, the dynamic riding mode becomes more progressive. This means you need to do more work to reach the maximum motor power. If you increase the support, the dynamic riding mode becomes less progressive and you will reach the maximum motor power earlier. Dynamics means how strongly and directly the motor responds to your input. Low dynamics ensure optimal control, especially on changing terrain. With high dynamics, the motor reacts directly and sensitively for maximum responsiveness. Do you like a sensitive and agile riding experience? Then increase the dynamics and put the slider into the positive range. For maximum control and traction, especially in wet conditions, you can reduce the dynamics. This will allow you to ride smoothly over difficult sections. With the new EMTB Plus mode, you can experience dynamic support to the limit. It combines the precise controllability of the EMTB mode with the full power of the race mode. With the built-in dynamic control, you ride with full control even if you have increased your performance values. In steep, bumpy riding situations, you have superior propulsion. And on loose or damp surfaces, it works like a traction control. <laughs>